Hi, I'm Mikata. And what a playthrough this has been. I've got a high rune, a couple of very good mid runes, a Maras amulet with 29 all res. Let me tell you about those. Let's start from the beginning. So here are the rules for my Berserker Barbarian. I have the Berserker set where I have two axes that I can use. And the rules are that after I defeat a world boss, a Nacht boss, I will put one of the Berserker pieces. I'll be allowed to use one of the Berserker pieces. And once I put any of the Berserker pieces, I can't use other gear on that slot. With the exception of the weapon, where I can use either both or one of the Berserker axes if I find that necessary. Like, for example, for Hell difficulty, I plan to switch to using a shield together with the Berserker axe. No. Now this looks like level 2. No. What's this map? This map is crazy. Is this my only jewel? It is. Whatever. Level 17. And there is the level requirements. Okay, at least it's 19. Okay, I expected players 3 on Daryl to be just a bit easier than she is. Do I want strength and faster hit recovery and fire resist? Or I, I want the damage. Something that they recently changed about Hard Carver in BT Diablo is now it is now level the level required is 94 I think for for Hard Carver. Oh, I can put another item. And let's see what are the bonuses. So I have two pieces. Berserker, so 50 life and lightning resist on the helm. And ED and strength. Okay. Come on. Give me some. Okay, it's not perfect, Ruby. After beating Diablo, I finally have the whole Berserker set. So I put the armor last. And now I can benefit from the full bonus, which is really nice. You can see 20 overs, poison land reduced, 15% experience gained, extra gold, and 100 magic find. The green bonuses are also pretty nice, so some resists over here, and the two item damage on the axe is 35, is maximum damage per level. Come on, Barsa. Oh, I don't have leap attack. Good. Can I run away? No, I can't. I'm out potions. Okay. So I did that at level 37 or almost 5 hours and I'm rather disappointed by my speed in this 
playthrough. I expected this to be way quicker. I don't know where the, the delay came from. Probably because I wanted to do a higher player count. Now you've seen the gear, the Berserker set. Full set that I equipped after the Diablo fight. Crushing blow gloves. Crafted blood belt that rolled pretty nice. Some magic find on the boots. And nothing too interesting on the other jewels. My secondary weapon has chance to cast amplified damage. And my build was mainly frenzy so I can be quicker. The highlight of this playthrough was rolling blood gloves. I've I've already shown that my gloves are with only 5% chance of crushing blow and this is the second pair like this that I rolled. I didn't even believe that I can roll 5% on blood gloves in BT Diablo. So this is the recap of part Nightmare. I'm level 68. I upped the twin axes, the, I upped the weapons to twin axes. I did that after doing some tower runes. I got some mid runes that I used as soul runes to upgrade the weapons. In the tower I tried whirlwind as well, but I did not like it. I expected more. I, my feeling was that I will be way stronger with the whole set and with the upgraded weapons, which was not the case. There three was the maximum I what could do. These ghosts doing quite it was there's five was a bit on the edge. It was just taking a green too much time. Really so really I switched that, that's both with whirlwind and after I okay, respect let's... out of whirlwind. One notable drop. I think I got this somewhere around Hellforge. Uh, is the these Inferno Strides that are upgraded in BT Diablo and now they cast level 25 blaze when struck. The blaze makes me insanely fast. You've seen clips of me zipping around, especially with the frenzy buff. And this is the most notable drop. The other notable piece was the Hellforge itself, which dropped me an Umrun, and I plan to use that Umrun to upgrade one of the weapons to the Elite version. So that's the end of the Nightmare recap, and now it's time to go see what Insanity has to offer. And now finally with the end of my Berserker set Barbarian playthrough. Let me tell you about the journey in Hell difficulty. Very early on in the catacombs I found an Umrun and I used it later on to up my main weapon to an Atin Axe so I have more damage compared to the Twin Axe that I used At the end of Act 2, I decided that using a Rhyme Shield feels like cheating and I decided to switch back to using mostly Frenzy, but in reality I used dual Berserker Axis and had no cannot be frozen, so that, that's more of the reality. It is really interesting how how interacts with Frenzy and having the Inferno Strides with level 25 blades. I run so quickly that I can't even target minions and even if I scare them away with Howl, in a second I'm so far away of them that I need to 
to howl once again so I don't instantly die. This was a really interesting combination. And my damage came mostly from Bash, which in BT Diablo always hits. And this is my this was my source of damage basically. I was able to fight bosses, fight uniques without taking into consideration the chance to hit. I've got a few deaths, a few close calls. I got killed in the spider cavern, which is the new maggot lair, after I was not able to pick the heart when I even after I, I opened the chest. The reward for that was in Travinkle, where I fought the council members on player Z by mistake. I had set the player count in course, cursed sewers and forgot to return it back to players 1 and when I killed Ismail Valhant I got a charm run. I got so excited that I even instantly that I picked it so fast I couldn't even create a screenshot for that. Then I used the charm rune to downgrade it and use it as a burr rune because in BT Diablo the charm rune provides 33% curse curse duration reduction and not cannot be frozen. My Hellforge was also generous. I got an Istrun. The Asian's fight was nice. I died only once and I think reset the, the Ancients like 10 times, maybe 15. You know that it is my clip when you see the rejuvenation potions on the ground. And lastly, the throne room was challenge. Again, the lack of cannot be frozen was on the edge Usable being possible. But I managed to, to go through without any deaths and I was able to kill Bale. And Bale dropped me this 29 Ores Maras Kaleidoscope, which is pretty nice find for my Barbarian. And I also did it without any extra magic find potions, without switching magic find gear with minus 89% better chance of magic find. And now the final build. Level 75 Berserker Barbarian. A lot of strength, so I can equip the Athen X. A little dexterity again for the Athen X requirements, the rest in vitality. The attack rating is pretty low, although Bash always hits. The, there is attack rating calculated, but it is not taken into consideration. And the Frenzy attack rating is rather low. This was another of the problems and another of the reasons why I used it rarely just for speed, for the faster and walk buff and the faster attack speed. Berserker helm with 20% ED jewel in it. The armor with an Ort rune. 20 increased attack speed and fire res gloves. Crafted belt with a little life open wounds, faster hit recovery and frost nova, inferno strides for a lot of faster and walk fires, rings with resists. This crafted ring is a really nice 120 attack rating. That's the maximum that 
can be rolled. And the other stats are also okay. And the other weapon is the Berserker X. On swap, I have a teleport stuff. My charms are absolutely random. No skillers this time. I did no farming, no magic finding with this character. I just moved forward and I tried to beat the game as soon as possible. You can see this is just below, just under 16 hours, which is my personal best. Skills, still 20 points into Frenzy, several, 11 points into Double Swing, 12 points into X Mastery, 1 point Wonders, 12 into Battle Orders, and 20 into Hull. My mercenary is Emilio, the iconic Act 2 mercenary. He has prayer, but I couldn't resist hiring Emilio when I saw him. He has an honor in Ethereal Ogre X. In BT Diablo, Ogre Axes can roll up to 5 sockets. And I did not have the runes for obedience, so it was honor. Still very decent damage. Armor with resistant life, very poor helm with fire resist strength, so he can equip the Ogre X, damage attack rating, poison length reduction on Snake Cord, which is upgraded in BT Diablo, and life leech and attack rating. And that's all. It was really nice playthrough, as I mentioned. It's been so long since I had the idea to start this one and I'm really and I'm really happy that I was able to complete it. You can find a playlist including all the videos, the streams and the clips from this playthrough and I'll hope to see you in the next one which I plan to be an ethereal only assassin in hardcore. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye.